also the orcs kind of turn into super orcs potentially if you play elves he's quite expensive though super orcs Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode nine of the Golems Gamers podcast. So today we are going to be doing another tier list. Uh, this time it's going to be a tier list of all the Mordor hero profiles in the Mordor section of the book. So heroes tier list. We're going to get straight into things. The last one we did was the monsters tier list. Um, and we do have a slightly smaller crew here today, only us three. Uh, but we keep it moving. Sad face emoji. Indeed. Um, but Good let's kick it off with... The Mouth of Sauron. Now, this one has caused some controversy as of late in both the Gollum's Gamers universe and the South of England chat. So um, what do we think? Who wants to go first? Ashley, I sense you uh, on the edge of your seat. Uh, he is a silly, nervous kind of uh, mm. character. You've got to remember that Musgur and Razgush aren't in this list as well. FYI. <sighs> that you can take them as Mordor? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah. This is an old... Um, or we can add them in the oh. end. It's fine. Yeah. Um, silly nervous. I like that. I mean, obviously, we can start things off and then move them around at the end. Maybe I... like top of nervous. No, no way. No way. Silly nervous. But like, might move down towards the end. Mm, I'll see. Nervous. I'll see how I'm see, I'll see how I'm feeling. Oh, I'll, I'll I'll allow it to be in silly nervous. Allow it for now. Allow okay, it. we'll see where we get. Um, okay, this guy is the Black, whatever God the hell, Barad- Black Guard of Barador Captain. Black Guard of Barador. We got the books handy. We are we are all instantly flipping through pages. I don't need the book, mate. This guy is dog. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'll give it a dog. dog yeah, guy. I mean, only sixty-five points, but uh, sixty-five I mean, points. What? It's straight, straight five, is it? But five, strength five, 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 five. five. He's got a cheeky little buff where he goes up to Courage 6 that if there's a ring on the board, which is nice, but then again... And I don't think you've had to pay that many more points for that considering the rest of the stat line. So it is pretty good. Actually, I will put it in Nervous. I That's think good. it's like bottom of Nervous <laughs> compared to like some other stuff. Looking at some of the other models here, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Nervous. It's, yeah. it's, it's there. Like Fair you enough. don't see it much, but I think for what you pay, if it was like seventy-five points, then it's really kind of pushing it. But it feels Go but sling him in nervous. Sling the problem is the nervous. problem is with mortal heroes is the fact there's so many of them that like the not the average ones aren't bad, but there's just so many better ones mm. than them. So like yeah, they're not bad profiles on their own, but there's just better things, which is why yeah. they're out in the pecking order. It's like why would you take that captain? Of, so he's called Captain of the Black Guard. Why would you take him over, like, Gorbag? Yeah. yeah, 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 for what you get. Um, okay, so that's the Captain of the Black Guard. Next up, we have the Moranan Orc Captain, 50 points. Um, he's quite nervous as well, I'm feeling. He five points with a shield. It's only Makes five him four. D7. So mm. compare him to the Black uh yeah, the I'm captain doing. of the black guard so it's like they can both be d7 but it's 10 points cheaper it's fight four instead of fight five what courage four courage three instead of four yeah it doesn't so, have the special rule yeah so the only difference is the special rule and it's fight four instead of fight five for 10 points less and the courage one courage yeah yeah the rule so you're effective you're yeah. effectively paying five points for a fight value five points for a courage and then you get the special rule for free Mm. Um, so I think he's worse than the worse than the uh, captain of the black guard. So I'd just put him below him and nervous. Yeah, personally. I think so. They're pretty close. Yeah, I guess if it's just if you want a cheaper marcher. Yeah. Yeah, but I think again, like I think if you're paying fifty five points for a Moranan or captain, you pay sixty for Guritz. Yeah, that's the problem. There's just better, there's so, just better things than these guys. Yeah, yeah. Like the captain of the black guard with the courage thing with the ring wraith sort of fills a, you know, a slightly different role, and it's five. It, five. it is quite a niche role within Mordor having that high courage. Like for example, Shagrat's only courage four, which is you could, you could build around it, I guess. So yeah, this is purpose built for. It's it. a shame there's no kind of synergy with the courage to do with uh, the black guard troops to tie in with the captain. I've just been mm. there's, there's no kind of, you know, it'd be cool if those two kind of tied into each other. 
And I have seen a few uh, really, really cool lists that just have um, Blackguard, and they do look scary. Yeah. Because they're all D7? All D7, all strength five. Fight four, yeah. So they're 12 points, yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, so next up is just the Orc Captain, which is in Baradur. See, I would say this is actually a silly nervous profile for how cheap it is. The points you pay... It's um, if you just need a really cheap march, you stick him on a walk and he becomes a 50 point cannon that you just throw in, spend might to win the fights, and just murder stuff. Um, he's probably one of the best captain models in the game for how cheap he is. Do you ever take him with a shield and a warg? Yeah, yeah, because so you get him up paying, to d6, so then you're paying 55 points. Um, yeah, it's on Warg, so it has a lot more killing potential. So he's got exactly the state, exactly the same stat profile compared to the Moranum one. Uh, no, sorry, not exactly the same. He loses a strength. Strength five. He he loses a strength and a defense, but you know, the, I think it's the cheap, cheap and cheerful cannon that you go for, and I reckon yeah. he's the best of the all captain models. Yeah, I think so. And if you just really need a incredibly cheap march, you take him for. 40, 40 points, points only. He's a he's a good troop killer for pretty legit for how few points he is. For what you I put him in, yeah. I put him in top of nervous. Above know. the rest. Oh my god. Uh okay. I, I'd still I'd still warrant he's a silly nervous because you you if you, you take no, I, f- I feel like if this was because obviously I, I've used this model in Angmar and then mm. I'm silly nervous, but in Mordor, I don't know. Why is that? Because you, you have no other access to March. Yeah, yeah, you have no other access to March. Right, right, right. So this true. This needs like again. There's just better things than him. Yeah, I think like Guritz, I would highly advocate for bottom of silly nervous compared to this guy. Yeah, like yeah, he's the best captain, but and there's nothing. I don't know though. You stick him on a walk. You stick him on a walk, and he. I mean, Guritz has a really good special rule about coming on the board for Maelstrom and Recon, but. I think it's the access to a 10-point walk really makes him like, nice. quite yeah. powerful. Yeah, but we don't have pick. many other like mounted hero options in Mordor that are meant to kill stuff. Like obviously, I know the Orc Captain isn't one that you'd think of being like something that's you know gonna go in and kill loads of stuff, but no, that that's actually a very good point. Uh, looking at looking at the profiles here, there is yeah. only the Witch King. I mean, because the ring base aren't gonna be doing very well. So that only cements my opinion that he's silly mm. nervous. Put him in there, and then we can. If he get needs to bow, I like up. him top and nervous, but I guess we'll see how other things play out. Oh, okay. Um, so next I'm up, we have two to one. Yeah, we have the Mordor Urukai captain, who I was glancing at his profile a moment ago, next to the captain, of the Black Guard. Um, the fact that we have to keep doing this is just proves how in Mordor there are a few yeah. lemon profiles that everyone takes all the time. This guy. I don't think I've ever seen him. Can't say I have either. I, I think he's pretty, pretty poor for his for his points. It can just get a bit awkward when in Mordor you've got the Urukai orc and men or man keyword. Mm. Um, you know, finding lists that work well with that can be an issue sometimes. I think it's the D five going up to D six. Like he has, he's got the strength five and he's got the fight five, but for more points, you get the aforementioned the orc captain on warg who just kills better, has more maneuverability, and is cheaper. So I'm, I, I'm so confused. So I'm looking at the captain of the black guard profile. Yeah. What does the urukai captain have over it? So let's say you give a shield to the urukai captain, which you would, it got up to d6. Yeah. So you're basically paying five points more for the captain of the Black Guard, and you got to D seven, and you get the courage rule. Yeah. There's no other differences. He's the worst captain out of the ones we've chosen so far. Pretty trash. I mean, it has access to a bow if you really want something with a bow, but <laughs> I'm nervous. Yeah. He's I think be I think it's pretty dog. I'll agree. Dog. I think it's pretty dog. Like I don't really think it's got anything going for it. For sure. IMO. Yeah. Okay. IMO. Uh, Brother said IMO. <laughs> Orc Shaman. 
Now this has got to be a Man City tier character. Nah. If you're not taking him in AOL, he's pretty rubbish. You don't take him in AOL, mate. You take it. So we, when we do this tier list, so this guy obviously has a place in uh, Fell Beings of Mirkwood. Mm. So do we take that into consideration? Or is it just without no arm? Um, no, mm. no, I'll, I'll allow it. I think we take into consideration everything, which I think like, definitely changes it from Man City. But so like the Witch King, is... for example, would we view the Witch King how it can perform in Angmar or with in no, like in Mordor, but like because Angmar we wouldn't do a because we wouldn't do a fell beings of Mirkwood heroes legendary uh, mm. heroes tier, so that's different. I think okay. Like the, so like the lob, we could say it's in uh, Kirith on goal. I guess it does get a little bit messy if you do it for legions, but if 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 you include Fel Beings and good, I'd put him in nervous. If you don't, I think it has to be not. Okay, yeah, no, I've you been do swayed. like allies because then you're taking the pure army list and you're allying it with something else. So like a green ally. For example, I, think I guess that's yeah. it because like you have you have like the Spider Queen in, and obviously the Spider Queen isn't Mordor. No, it's a legion that's all Mordor heroes, I guess. But I think, yeah, I think you've swayed me earlier. I think it should be pure, like yeah, we're, you can do like we're, allies, but yeah, we're tearing them based on their Mordor how they perform in Mordor or with yeah. an ally. So yeah, um, yeah so no. Org Shaman, yeah, it's looking pretty dog. I mean. Okay. Below the Urukai captain? Nah, above a, I'd rather take a shaman than above a, a yeah. I've yeah, actually totally seen agreed. an orc shaman a few times and haven't ever seen a mortal Urukai captain. There you go. The only problem is so, that you get Fury, this guy, and Fury's pretty good. Yeah. It is. It is but it's good. Like, but then you've got Karnish. <laughs> yeah, for 60 points. Is it, uh, is it 50 points for the shaman? 50 points for the shaman or 60 points for Kadush. Yeah, so it's like he gets you a transfix, but. If you're getting that shaman for the transfix in Mordor, then I don't know what to say. Well, it's a, it's a transfix and fury. Like, if you really need to just try and one dice a transfix because it's clutch, that's pretty bit. It's pretty pog. Yeah, but okay. You'd just be way better to take Cardouche for the fury and a wraith for the transfix. Yeah. It's just yeah, better that's, around. That's, that's your. It's two producing, heroes. You're producing yeah. a list out of that. You, you have to take the base off there. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's that's that you have to. That's not how it works. Like if you're taking, if you're taking Cardosh, yeah, he's, he's then bad. No, I think we're happy where he is in dog. Yeah, I could argue for nervous, bottom of nervous, but just because yeah, to... we can move it up. We'll see how other things go. We'll see how the how the cookie crumbles. One, and then... one to keep an eye on. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Next Put a up, pin in it. this guy's oh, from City. Gothmorgs in four. This guy's but... from City. This guy's so bad. This guy is, yeah. He's so like, I have one. the profile here. So it has the rule that's specifically to do with Gothmog, right? You need to like spend what you use his will points as might. He's like fight four, strength four, D5. He's so bad. He's D6, D6 with, with heroic defense. Heroic defense. Yeah, he's so bad. Uh, Again, but but he's one, he's one, three, one, courage three. So yeah, you were right. It's he spends a point of will each turn to give a heroic move if he's. Within three inches of golf. It's like, why does Gothmog need that when he's already got Master of Battle? Can yeah. you can you hear my blinds chattering away? By the way, no, no, mate, no. 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 Literally, just, you're good. You can see them behind me. Going, yeah, <laughs> tripping. But, okay, that's fine. Yeah, this guy's Man City. Yeah, leave him there. Yeah, I think he's pretty trash. Okay, we come on to the Wraith profile. Is Night of Umbar. Night of Umbar is Man City. Oh yeah, isn't this like the worst one? He's the combat mimicry. An equal fight value doesn't have strike. Um, equal, this, fight value, equal strength, equal attacks. He's, these, he's, um, he's points a have, race. these points have been raised many times before, and it's like the fact that you have to do this before heroic actions are declared just makes the whole rule completely pointless because it's like, oh, I'm going to go into Gilgalad and copy his fight value. Okay, Gilgalad strikes and then you die. Yeah. What's the point? If they just changed, if they just changed that to after heroic actions, then he becomes of like you might actually take it. Wait, what, what, read the rule out. Read the rule out. 
At the start of any fight phase, before heroic actions are declared, the Knight of Umbar may spend a will point to activate this ability. The Knight of Umbar can elect to use the fight strength and or attacks of his opponent instead of his own. No, so I think if you strike, you're still using the fight value of that model, and that fight, that model is then still fight to 10 for that turn. No, that's not how it's played. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I think he's. I think he's bad because he doesn't have strike, and he's bad because it's. No, there's no good being the same. But it wouldn't matter if he wasn't. Well, yeah, I guess. It, I'm pretty. I'm. I'm pretty sure it's played the way I just described because that's why it he's... is. Yeah, Man City. But the, the the problem is, is that he doesn't have strike, and his casting values are so bad. Yeah, transfix on a four, compel on a five. I just five. noticed he has black dart on a six. Yeah, his casting values are like the worst out of any race. So yeah. it's, it's not, but it's not he one. only loses a will for having been in a fight if he loses the fight. Uh, it's still bad. I know. It, so it hasn't been FAQ'd about the rule I just checked. So it is a bit open to interpretation. I don't know. I'm sure he's been answered on the Facebook pages somewhere. So, so if uh, he's a Comment down below, uh, loyal viewers, uh, aka David Farmer, because he'll know uh, what think... the ruling yeah. is. I don't, think I've just, I don't think I've ever seen this guy. And so, yeah, chuck him in Man City because I'm pretty sure it's how I said he used to be OP in the old edition, but he's now not. Is so, he above? I think you still take him over Goth Mogs and Force. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You, you do <laughs> yeah, still yeah, get a Wraith. Goth, Goth Mogs and Force is awful. You do still get a Wraith. Uh, okay, we're happy with him there. Um, so, next up, which Wraith is this? Which, which Wraith is this? I think that's a Tainted, isn't it? Confusion. What's that? Uh, that's that's confusion. Might be the Dwemer Uh Oh, that is the Dwemer Lake. Uh, it is yes. totally the Dwemer Lake. Oh Lake. my God, Adam Sirens. Let's is. go. Let's I totally go. missed him join, but uh, yes, is. I was aware of his presence. Adam, welcome to the pod, my friend. How are you doing? Yeah, good. So I couldn't actually make it tonight, but when I heard that you were doing Mordor, <laughs> my plans dropped like. Uh, around. You don't. The viewers like, don't. I'm not going to finish that sentence. The viewers don't know how much of a epic entrance this is because Adam was fervent all week that he just can't do any days, right. and all of a sudden, he's turned up out of thin air. Is. Adam, that's love to see from it. you. Yeah, indeed. So uh, we just started off. This is the lay of the land at the moment. We've done the captain profiles and we're onto the race. So we've just put the night of Umbar in Man City, along with Gothmog's Enforcer. Do you, Adam, do you have any any qualms on yes. this? Yes. Um, no, I took. Oh, so the way I treat 80s these days is I, I treat them as fun, silly tournaments. So I actually took the Fellowship of the Orc, as I called it. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> to my last 80. And Classic I Adam. took. Did yeah, you I took win it? Off, or you no, no. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I took, um, took Gothmog, Zagdush, Goroth, Guritz. Gorebag, Taskmaster, Drummer, Gothmog's Enforcer. And it was just, it was at 600 points. Um, it's basically breaking the fellowship, but without any good rules. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> or you or any four. good heroes. <laughs> <laughs> By four. Um, but I was lucky. I, I got two games against my Army of the Dead. And when you call Time of the Orc, which is a good rule for that list, um, they all get plus one to wound. So you're wounding actually on fives against Army of the Dead, and you got loads of might. So, yeah, I was I was lucky. I, I went two and two with with that list. I won a game of domination, which was funny. Um, but in general, yeah, it's, it's it's trash. But I completely agree with all of these choices. With where we've gone, yeah, Goth go. Goth Mountain yeah. Force is probably one of the worst models in the game, along with the Storm Caller. <laughs> okay. Why um, does he need to give Goth more correct moves when he's got Master of Battle? Master of Battle. The only thing he does have is defense, which I like. For yeah, um, one turn. But he's all yeah, might. one might. Um, yeah, yeah. Man, it's, yeah. yeah. So that's that's where we are. But at the moment, we're on the Dwimmer Lake from the Angmar list. Or well, it's in the Angmar list, but also in Mordor. Um, where do we think of this one? It's pretty good. I've used this guy. I mean, yeah. I've think used I've used him in Angmar. Angmar. Things. This guy's better in Angmar. That's the yeah. problem. Yeah. I think as we're ranking him as Mordor heroes, he's dog. You would you'd very not see that you'd never see this guy in a Mordor list. Yeah. So he's a dog Mordor character. 
Above the Shaman, surely. Brings a lot more than a Shaman. No, I would rather have the Shaman than a Dominic. Yeah, I think I'd say Shaman too, unfortunately. The other thing is he's got he's only got a two-handed weapon as well. Yeah, he has the two-hand. The the spending two might if they call a heroic action um is it, you that's only to outmight people usually and or you have less might than than them originally. Mordor usually has a lot of three might cheap heroes, so it's not the most beneficial thing. And it's and like it isn't even like a guarantee thing. It's on a four no. up. People, so it's like... people can just be outside of six. And guess what? You can still call a move because this guy's usually behind your line being a support guy. Um, He's so and... effective when you can get him within Gulliver and then the people have to call moves against Gulliver. Yeah. And then you can be like, oh. Have you said Angmar? Yeah. He's actually, he's or if actually... you're trying to strike against Angmar. Uh, uh, against uh, Gulliver. Against Gulliver, yeah. Even yeah. better point. Um, be okay but it's also but... got no might as well. So yeah, for 50 points, I think the Shaman has a lot more value. Uh, does Shaman have one might? Yeah. 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 Uh, so that is uh, the Dwimmer Lake. Uh, I think in a Mordor list, he's actually worse than Angmar because in Angmar, you're probably taking the Dwimmer Lake last out of the three hero picks for yes. the ring rates, and you can't take a generic wraith, which is the main difference. Mm. He, uh, he he actually does. He's like bottom of nervous in Angmar, I'd say. Like. It, I don't know it's, what's his casting values. I think they're like semi okay. They're decent, like, good... yeah. Three, four, and five for transfer. Yeah, so they're, like they're, they're actually they're on the better side. They're decent. So and that's as good as they get for the named race, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so, good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, not in Angmar, it's worse than a shaman. Yeah. Um. So moving on, we have the tainted. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Uh, he's got more of a place in the Dwemer Lake. Yeah, um, yeah, too much. It's just not as good as he is. A, I think he's still in dog tier. Yeah, for... it's just it's not as good as Angmar tainted. So it's still dog, but I don't know if it's above a shaman or not. Hmm. I think he's below a shaman. Well, he's dog wraiths in Mordor. It's, you, so you don't get you don't get heroic actions or warriors, and they they get stamp fast. Like, you have you ever used Lobelia? Ash has. I have used Lobelia, and you can never get her rule into effect because the hobbits can never break anyone. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine it on an army that can break people. It, it, you can. It is okay, but again, like in Mordor, you're not taking it. I don't think. Yeah. No, I don't no. think. I've taken it before just for fun, and it was a lot of fun. I think it works really well if you're taking war beasts. Yeah. I could see it working very well with two great great beasts of Gorgoroth. <clears throat> if it was... Each hero that wants to stop them moving has to call a heroic move, which is really good, because only heroes can then heroic move. They can't yeah. call with me. So... It does work quite well in that very corner case situation. Mm. But in most instances, it's looking pretty dog. <laughs> where I'm sat. So uh, that's where it will stay. So moving on, we have... Uh, what is that the Undying? Mm -hmm. I believe it is. Yeah, This is Willis Fate kind of guy, isn't he? This one's a little bit better. Yep. His Willis casting Fate. is very good. Oh, yep. Not very good. His black dot is only six inches. Elliot trembles. One of those. <laughs> What's, is it? Is it literally he spends well as fate and that's it? Uh, and uh, he's no. Got, he's got he's an amazing rule. He re he gains. Uh, so if he spends a will point, he then gets a will point back for each magical power successfully cast by another model within oh, six yeah, inches. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he can be. He's like we talked about the Watcher um, in our monster tier list. You have to build your list around him because you want at, you need at least two spellcasters, preferably. Sorry, you need at least him and an additional two spellcasters to make it worthwhile. You really want four spellcasters. Something like quite... the shaman, you can get more value out of. Yeah, you want like him, a witch king, like a musga, and then like a. Like Malthasaur, maybe. You want yeah. Malthasaur on and Muz and uh, Cardi. Both have three up. Uh, every turn, the thing is, yeah. every turn with Kardash, 
you're throwing a one dice or maybe two dice fireball. So that's guaranteed one spell. You don't want Mouth of Sauron and Muzgur because they can only throw out one each um, and that won't be every turn. So I'd include one of those as well. You want a Witch King, right. definitely. Because well, he's, consist- he's consistently cast him. But remember, a caster within however many inches is also the Undying. So if the oh, Undying... Oh, so he counts as himself. Oh. Yeah, of course. That's so insane. If the Undying hmm. pokes his ability out, if he does it, if he casts a spell, it has to be cast. If it's resisted, I don't think it counts, does it? No, no. So imagine if you've, even if you've got Kardish and the Undying, then you're spending Ooh. one point of will and you're getting two back. I don't think that is right. Does it just say just, cast? It just says when it's successfully cast, where Brawl is, for example, says one oh, no. the effect of the magical power has gone through. That so, says that says successfully. Yeah, it just says successfully cast, meaning once you successfully cast it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just as soon as... So basically, you can get a will back from the Undying himself casting, and then if, say, Cardouche and the Witch King both cast as well, you'll get him what back. Do you mean, what do you mean Brawlgear doesn't? So Brawlgear only... It's only... Let's say you try Tremor something. Yeah. With the will back thing, like if, you, if you're on a natural six, it's yeah. only once the magical power takes effect. So if, like, the Tremor's resisted, then you don't get the will back. That is very interesting. Yeah. Who said that? Well, it specifically says in the wording, <laughs> once the effects of the magical power take place. So I'll wait to quickly get this up as I'm So got if it the on. tremor's resisted, then it hasn't taken place. Where this for the undying says each time Brogia rolls a natural six when making a casting test, he will regain a single will point after, after. resolving the effects of the magical power. So it's worded very differently. Oh, very interesting. The undying. Hmm. Very cool. Raw gear tips. Yeah. So, so let's the put the undying. Yeah, I, I think, think that's pretty good. Like you can build a pretty casting heavy list with the undying and get quite a lot of return out of him. I reckon he's better than roles. the Moran and Captain, but not good as uh, not as good as the Orc Captain. Yeah, I quite like that spot. So he's really cool, but you got if you're already mentioning the Witch King, him and another shaman, you're investing near f- like 400 points in a casters. Mm. It's a mm. lot. But you could yeah. build an 800 point list with maybe a cheaper Witch King, the Undying, and Cardo. The other thing is. Then you don't you, have March. The other thing is, you don't usually take the Witch King with the Undying because you take the Undying specifically to not die as your leader because he's got infinite fate. That's the thing. So, you, but yeah. True. Anyway, yeah. We've, yeah. we've chatted a lot about him now. Yeah. That's a cool profile. Uh, fun. So, the next one is that the Dark Marshal I see? It is. It is. So the fight six one. Yes. The only fight six wraith. Uh asterisk. Um because of Kamul. That's true. True. He's quite good. I think he's better than the dark. I think he's better than the undying. Um still probably not as good as an orc captain. For point for point, so I just put him above the Undying in nervous. Yeah, I think, I think the Undying has a higher ceiling than the Dark Marshal because really? if if you write a specific list for it, okay, it could get really good return out of it. But I think if you're taking the Dark Marshal in ninety percent of you know cases, it's going to be easier to get better return out of it. But Undying Undying is just more niche. You have to build around him more. He's yeah. more specialized. Dark Marshall isn't. It's a six. Is it a six inch banner? Yeah, six inch banner. It's quite six. six. He's quite six, six but casting. he's rubbish in combat because he's only got one attack. So it's like, mm. what's his casting? It's good. Good, good casting. Good. Okay, so, so my like... opinion on him is that the thing that makes him not as seen as normal is the fact you can ally in Suladan because yeah. Suladan first of all counts the banner. He affects heroes, and yeah. he's, he's cheaper. So the the thing I don't like about Dark Marshal is that it only affects warriors. Yeah, that's pretty bad. No, uh, does it? Uh, yeah, that is pretty. It was a twelve inch warrior banner, maybe uh, a little bit better. Yeah, that'd be a lot better. That'd but, be a lot better. Again, it still wouldn't be that good. No, this, this... I think there's an argument to put on a fell beast though. He he is he is one of the uh, options to put on a fell beast that definitely makes him better. You get value out of the fight six. 
Again, he doesn't have strike though, so you just charge. You can't ever charge a hero that can strike. Yeah, this, yeah you have enough charge. magic in your list. So. But I you think could, this guy's below. Yeah, you, below going die. Merc fight five heroes, but like you're not going to merc fight six hero because yeah, you can compel it out and that hero can't strike, but then it's a 50-50 if you both roll a six. So yeah, no, agreed. Below the undying, then. Um, are we putting it above the these captains? Yes. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now we have the Shadow Lord. Silly He's got to be pre lemon, I think. Uh, I could see it. Mm -hmm. I think well, he's a lemon guy. Finding light is pretty insane. But uh, that is all it brings. But is it, good, is it, it good is, casting? It is, it is. It is good. Good casting. Yeah. The six inch black dart, though, as I now am aware of. Um, yeah. You don't really need it. For Isn't that. that great? But yeah, like if you if you plan with it properly, then you know. But um, you know, two might two fate is good. Um, is he? Uh, uh, I say he's better than the mouth. But I think I, he's eleven character. Like, he's I, I eleven hero 11 for what he can do. Personally. I think he's he brings the only blinding light. For evil, and he's very, very, very strong. I just think you have a lot of D6 in Mordor anyway. Like, if you're in certain lists, you can get a lot more value out of him. I just, I don't know, to be left. You have like, you have D6 in like Rivendell, and you still take care down. Like, yeah. It yeah. Make, like, then like, you usually have high model count as well, though, in Mordor. This right. casting's really good. Transfer three plus. There's, there's not enough model, there's not enough heroes at the top at the moment for me to, to like compare, to compare him to. I reckon he's the, the witch king yet. Yeah. Yeah, and oh, just looking down, I'm not sure how many more we might have in lemon. Um, I'd say put, put him in lemon at the moment. We put in lemon, yeah, and see where we move. Okay, but I would advocate maybe sort of at the bottom end, but we'll see. I agree. I, I don't think he's lemon. Ooh. If he was lemon, he would be an auto take almost, right? See, and I, I don't think he is like. No, he's not. Um, he is good. Does lemon equate to auto take? Well, in, in a lot of instances, you want to look to take that profile. Yeah, definitely. We'll see at the end. We'll see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you might yeah. move around. Uh, who's this guy? This is the... Betrayer. So in a uh, Serpent Horde list, he'd be Lemon. In this list, he might even be Dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's worse. No, he is Dog. Yeah. What? You get Bane of Kings and... He's he, even, he could even go down to Man City. The fact that his special rule—he's worse than the Knight of Umbar in Mordor. Yeah, he I only, think, he, I his think special this is doesn't a, affect it at all. I think it's a bit of an unfair way. Obviously, I know that we've done the tier list in this way, but uh, I don't know. But he's it's the like same as—he's exactly the same as the Knight of Umbar, except his special rule has no use in the Mordor list. It's 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 like all the race. The the Tainted and Dormelega are unfair because they're in Mordor, not in Angmar. Knight of Umbar is, I guess, arguably maybe better in Corsairs than he is in Mordor. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I guess maybe have to treat them We're better. doing a Mordor tier like, list. So the betrayer is actually betrayer pretty good. So just to put it right at the bottom just Man feels City. a bit unfair. But well, he, he's in Man City. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's how it is. Yeah. Uh so moving on, we have Shelob, not in Kirithan Gaul in that case. I think he's oh sh not he, sorry. She yeah, is Shelob. She lob, I think, is better than not captain. So yeah, let's just discuss she lob a little bit because I think it's it's a model that has lots of different opinions. Mm. It's not in Kirithon Gaul, though. That's the thing. See, I could also want to put it below, below not captain. So, so for the listeners, we've got to think about what this model provides. It's a ninety point monster with strength seven, who can get into a really good position and hurl. Really, really well. She's an absolute tank. She's got six wounds at defense seven. Yeah, D7. She's, she's really, really strong. However, yep. one attack, survival instinct, no might, no fate. Yeah. And it's not exactly like that cheap. Like 90 points for what you get is good, but you've got to find 90 points to put it in. Mm. And yeah. Would I think be... you take an orc. I think yeah, I've, I've changed my mind. You definitely take an orc captain before you take Shilob. I mean, and that's not necessarily yeah. the best comparison, but Probably. the orc captain takes yeah. a lot more for the list. Probably better than the Undying. 
then yeah. that's where I would be. Mm, I I would vote the Undying above. I think the Undying could be pretty good, but like Shelob, you can get good return out of, but like you're counting on specific things happening in order to get that. Where with the Undying, I think if you take it in a certain list, you're probably going to get pretty good return. Agreed. We could leave it there and then see if we want to move uh, Shelob around. Uh, it's now- the Gorbinator. He's got to be a silly nervous <laughs> kind of guy. Silly nervous. So good. A better than the mouth for what he, he brings. 55 points with the shield. 60. 60, 60 with points with the shield. Base, His yeah. special rule is so good. You charge him into, if you're outnumbered in a fight, so aka you charge him into two models, he goes to fight five and has three attacks for 60 points with three might and strike. Yeah, he's silly nervous, guaranteed. Now, the mouth, though, being a mounted caster at fight five, three attacks on charge. They fill different roles. They do, but I guess just when we're comparing them in a head-to-head matchup, I mean... But for you get... You get Gorbag, oh, sorry, the mouth is which, a lot more points. No. But it's 20 more points, which is effectively a 25% a increase. Yeah. And yeah. also he doesn't have strike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the mouth can the, kill stuff, but yeah. I, I, I'm totally for the mouth, as we found out uh, in previous pods, but I'm for, Gore, for the Gorbinator a bit more. You do love Gorbag. Are we happy with him above the mouth? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Um, right. So moving on, we have Goroth. Who I know is Ash is very down on, but I do like. Him. I took him for a long. I took him for a long time. Long, um, and he just with two attacks, he's just not good enough. He's eighty points, which is very expensive for a Mordor hero. Ah, uh, it's not I, cheap. With a, I think an orc captain on warg kills more stuff than him with the you knockdown and the three attacks. I guess so, it's if you're looking for something to if you're taking casters and you're going to try like compel stuff into Gora. Yeah. Like, you know, strength five burly. Does he have a two-handed pick? So he, he does. It's the strength six. No, it's a two-handed mace. Mace. Okay. So he can't get to strength six, but strength five burly. Um and he's got the orc save rule. So he has so he doesn't die if you need a hero to stay alive in assassination. But for 80 points, you just for 35 more points you take Shagra and you get an enormously better stat stat line um who does better killing for that role that you're trying to fill of yeah. compel out charge because especially shaka has the knockdown but we will get to him later yeah so uh it's nervous for sure it's below the captain yes is it above the undying and shelob it's at least there it's whether it's going higher I, I, I think it's better than both of those. Uh, I think, yeah, I think Shelob's sort of unreliable where Goroth is still going to get him in. He's a really know good what you're assassin. Gonna get. If you're playing assassination or something, he's really good because he's quite hard to kill. Yeah. He is quite. He is hard to kill, but you again, you have to sacrifice so many troops for him. I mean, you don't... You, you have to build your list to have trackers that are then positioned correctly within an inch, which means they're in your battle line, which again, you don't really want. It's... Uh, you end up just sacrificing a load of Moranans, which is high points, and then you, you're for every model that you're sacrificing, you're basically losing nine points, which only brings you closer and closer and closer to having Chagrat, who with three fate and D seven instead of D six would have never been in that situation in the first place. Yep. So it's a good breakdown there. Outstanding, uh, Outstanding. Uh, What can I say? What can I say? Yep, I know. Only ever that. brings you closer to Chagrat. <laughs> you have an opinion about that one. So, are we happy with him there? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Moving on, we have Gothmog. I think he's silly nervous. Silly awesome. nervous. Yeah. Mm. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> Controversial Again, you have, to, take. you have to take. I think it's. I think he's at least twenty points overcosted. I don't think he's silly nervous. No, he's he's definitely not twenty points overcosted. As Sam was about to say, you need to build your list around him. You need him. to build your list around him. And as when you do you that, know, I think he then becomes he becomes worth his cost. Okay, so what's in your list? Pure Moranans. Kardash. You build it as, as Ali King. Literally King. Ali's list. Yeah. Okay. Which you went have to, five you have to go one in at a hundred. <laughs> you have to go in, either absolutely die or absolutely kill everything you touch. And that is the way to build it with 
more horse talkers and more animals. Shout out to Ali King. Who is in Scotland at the moment because he answered my uh, message earlier about oh. hopping on a short notice, which Don't is dox why him. Bloody hell. He, he is not with us. Um, but the thing is, Ali King will make any list work. So I'm, I'm not yeah. sure that's a very good argument. Um, I think you've got to think what's the most common sort of model list? But the most efficient Adam, list, the Black Numenorians, right? You can't, yeah, but we do always say that you need to judge these tiers on the highest yeah, level that they can be played at, right? That's what we did with the Undying. Yeah, I know, but. He could take Shelob and probably win loads of games as well. Yeah, but yeah. He, he can't take the Dragon Emperor and win games, can he? So oh, he's not that good, oh, clearly. Oh. All right. Ali's trash. Oh, oh. He's, he's probably used to working too hard for a win. True that. He needs to learn uh, when to spend my in Maelstrom. He, need, he does. <laughs> he, uh, that is facts. This guy, um, Gothmog, is... If you build around him, he is worth his points. And... You have to take a drum. You have to take, literally, like, Morgul Stalkers. You take cheap heroes around him. I was good, you know, those lot. So in that case, though, he is going to be your leader, and he is D7-1 fate. Uh, yeah. I think we just take a vote. Uh, I know it's going to be 2-2, two and two, which then we're going to have to 50-50 think... dice roll it. I think I probably am. Um, I could see the argument of leaning him more towards bottom of silly nervous. He's at yeah, least yeah. here. Still. It's whether he's bottom, but put him at the bottom. Um, we'll, put him, we'll put him there and revisit potentially at the end. Okay, the great beast of Gorgoroth. <laughs> this, this this photo is so disgusting. This yeah. is the worst picture. It looks like a Such massive a toe. It looks like a massive toe. It's like a mummy. It is, does look like a toe now. Like really is is that it. like a photo of the actual model or is that like a CGI yeah. version? Yeah, that's just a top. Someone's just directly taken a picture on top of the model. Yeah. It's, Why it's, they've done it's, that, it's now, I have no Bird's eye view. Bird's eye view fucking Gora. Um, it's just a really unfortunate angle as well that it's kind of just <laughs> flopping down at it's a massive like, grey toenail you hate to see it uh but sam and ash do you both have experience of playing against one of these recently and adam two of these oh and adam oh yeah i've used one quite a bit Got that, adam. Where would you put him? they're really fun are they good i'd I, I just put it middle of nervous like just below shoe lob to be honest because okay. i think one of the best things is it's shooting yeah that's really good. That's but the full damage close. is pretty extreme. Like you'll lose half the orcs for sure. And when we're saying that they do die at like D, is it five or six? D seven. No, no, oh, no. I think the I think the dudes and the, no, the actual things. Is it D seven? Yeah, actual, D seven. Yeah. Yeah, it's a strength four. It just dies. So I once uh, had you need an to be strength, five. Oh, strength three. Sorry, yeah. You need to be so strength someone, five. Someone once um just one shotted it with a lendil against me. Just a lendil and like two dudes called a combat. Just one shot at it, bang, done. Yeah, yeah. It, um, they're not. They're happen. not the most competitive. Uh, again, I think shout out to Atomic Cards, Tom Patterson. I think he said that the biggest strength about these models is that you don't know their rules and then you make mistakes. So yeah. as soon as you know their rules, you just can play around it, and then yeah. Is it better would, than Shelob? No, I would argue that it is. I could see an argument for it being better than Shelob. Um, the thing is, this is another model that you have to build around it. Having yeah. having two of them is way better than one of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, three is overkill, but having two is better than one. And then it's you... again with the skill ceiling, it can go above Shelob. It's like you wouldn't go. build a list around Shelob specifically. You have to build around a list around this guy, and if you want to kill it, you have to kill it outright. Essentially, if you, especially if you're playing two of them. And with that, you then have to be strength five or call her extra strength. Um, so yeah. it's harder than you think, especially when it's when you take a list like Dewey's, where it's all all mounted with two of them. Um, I guess the ceiling of a list like that, I think, is probably higher than just dropping in Shelob into like most random more yeah. lists. Agreed. So, uh, in that case, it's I good. would rather take this guy than the Undying. Yes. Yeah, I like the Undying, but I think, yes, yeah, seeing the kind of this that uh, Dewey took and he did well with it, it's obviously got legs. We're leaving it there. It's definitely got legs. See, uh, <laughs> that's the thing. Like, 
I again would also rather see this guy on the than Goroth. But I think it's better than Goroth, to be fair. Adam? Sure. Is it above an orc captain? No. no. Yeah. Top yeah, there. Oh. No, no, he means there's fine. Yeah, I think I'm happy with it there. The orc captain's really good. Okay. Uh okay, now we have Grishnak. He's better than Goroth as well. Is he? So yeah. he's also the worst version of Gorbag. He is the worst b- version of Gorbag. Yeah, right there. Perfect. What's he, what is he? Fight fight four, four strike. Five. He's just a fifty he's just a fifty point three model striker, but he does have fifty five. Yeah. So he's, he's, field, but... he's the same as Gorbag, except he's five points cheaper for a worse rule. So he's got backstabbers, which is good, but going up to three attacks and fight five is better. Mm. I think if you just really want to maximize heroes, cheap heroes that are going to be in the line killing stuff, it you know, he's also just a 50 point striker with three three mics. Yeah, sure. Is... Leave him there. It's okay. <laughs> he's great. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh Guritz. Bot my silly nervous. My favorite. Yeah. I reckon he's better than Gothmog. I think he's better than Gothmog. 100 percent Yeah. Yeah. I uh, so I prefer him to mouth. This is what I'm I don't mind. So obviously they both have March. The mouth is a hero of valor, which has that going for it. So if you're doing like an awkward points level, I went to like a it was an escalation event, but I got to like six fifty, and I needed more warband space so the mouth fit nicely. I think it's the only hero of valor outside of like Razgoosh. So it's like a cheap. Uh, uh, the Gothmog, Gothmog's valor as well. <laughs> Sorry, like a, cheap, a cheap hero that's yeah. like because uh, even Shagra at higher points is only um uh fortitude. So yeah, you know, the mouth has valor going for it. Obviously, the casting it's mounted and it has march. I think I, 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 I'm quite happy with the mouth above Guritz. I think he does definitely do a better job. They just again they feel the different like roles esque. Like the mouth is good if you have another caster. Garrix is good if you want to, I guess, go more models. Yeah. Garrix is kind of good in every model list, though. It brings up like three points of might for cheap. You also, something people forget is this he's strength five, defense six, and he's got a two handed weapon as well as a sword. And he can pierce to strength six. So strength six plus one to wound. Wounds eagles on fours if you want. Effectively strength eight. He. I think he's good. I think the rule, I would put him about the mouth. I would as well. I think the plus one minus rule in recon and uh, Maelstrom is so good as well. Yeah. It is very, very powerful. 60 I mean, points. I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't be upset if he goes above the mouth. He's not better than Gorbag, though. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I, I think he's good there. I'm happy with that placement as a big nice. uh, Guritz fan. So, okay. Next up, we have the Mortal Troll Chieftain. Nervous, definitely probably, nervous. Let me tie my down this end, though. <sighs> no, nah, better than the Dark Marshal, probably less useful than Shelob. You like yeah. there, yeah. Adam, happy with that, yeah. Mr. Shelob, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's pretty, yeah, it has its limitations. Um, We've got our next lemon hero, baby. Yeah, this is definitely a lemon. I think uh, it's definitely above the Shadow Lord. Yes. And mm. uh, bag for sure. He's such value. Uh Kamal the Easterly. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh Kamal. It's weird he wasn't next to all the other Wraith profiles, but anyway. <laughs> um you don't see Kamal played that often. I played against uh shout to the Entmoot. Podcast. I played against Harry Parkhill with his uh, Kamal on Fell Beast at Unnumbered Tears last year. And it has its place, but I think he was saying now it's kind of just fallen into the Shadow Realm sort of thing since the Emperor and stuff. Did you beat Kamal or not? I did. It, again, I just think there's better stuff than him. I, I had a Witch King on Fell Beast, so. Yeah, I think there's just better things than Kamal. Like, I'd, uh, it's I'd got put an interesting him, rule. I'd put him no. above. And it's casting, undying. yeah, it's got the bad casting. I'd put him above the undying. So 
So it completely you depends should... on your list. You need to build around him. I used yeah. to take him when I was a noob. I took him on Fell Beast and then the Witch King on Horse as the leader. So oh. much fun. If you want to do magic, you cannot bring them all. You cannot. Yeah. He's he's terrible. He's an awful caster. And what makes him worse than all the other casters, you want to use his will to buff his stats in combat. Yeah. So unlike the Knight of Umbar, who actually gets his will back, which I don't know if you guys mentioned, like he's he's all right for that. That's why I think he's better than the Betrayal, which you guys put. Um, I think Kamal really struggles unless... First of all, he cannot be a leader because he's fragile. And also he needs a foul beast. So by that point, you're spending 170 points. Which is the same point as the Dragon Emperor. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's, it's it's, it's that's like the dragon. casting is there for if he is your only wraith and like you need to compel something out like a big hero to get onto it then you have the capability to do that if you're on a fell beast you know and you want to go for it but he's yeah. the second transfix as well yeah he's he's not there to be a caster um, i don't mind him there he's he's good i would like the undying above him for that reason i mean i think wraiths mm. are best uh you know they feel the casting role best out of anything i'm not sure it fills the combat role better than the Undying fills the casting role. I, I think he's actually similar to the Dark Marshal, but worse. They're both fight six. When are you going to use his extra attack, which is his, own, his only other rule? Oh, and the ability to get Will back. The, the Dark Marshal's just better because you'll spend... He's a, Dark Marshal's a better caster and he provides the, the aura buff. Yeah, the banner. Like, like you said, it's a secondary caster though. Like he's not your you're not primarily using him for your chat for for your casting Casting's abilities. So bad. Yeah, but like you said, it's a it's an armor. Yeah. You I just, will. So in that know, case, then we're really it. looking at yeah, we're really looking at whether Kamal's combat potential is better than the Undying's casting potential, which What's I his transfix on. A four. four. Yeah, so you can five. And and does he gets well back from killing? Yes. Yeah. So if you charge two, you get a will back. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just not sure the combat potential of Kamal outweighs what you can get back from the Undying in a specific list. Why do you think he's better than the Dark Marshal? Because the Dark Marshal, like you said, I... doesn't, doesn't affect heroes. He's got one attack. Um... But both will be on a Fel Beast, right? Yeah, the Dark Marshal's got better casting. They're Kamal identical, strike? like profiles. Does Kamal strike? Yes. He has a natural fight six, uh, though, the Dark Marshal. I think Kamal is better. Okay. Than the Dark Marshal. I think it's the ability to definitely heroic strike is a massive, massive heroic action. I think, I think he's just more versatile. I don't know. I think Kamal... Is it better than the Undying, though? I think that's what I we're think thinking. it is. You think it's better? I Sam think... does. Adam? You're the deciding vote. I think for what you... Assuming you're going to take the Witch King, yes. You think it's better. Okay. So there, it, uh, there is where it will stay. That's the uh, way the news goes. So next up, we have the Black Numenorean Captain. I don't think I've ever uh, seen this dude. No. I'm scrambling to get his stats up. Yeah. So he's like the Mouth of Sauron, basically. But He's a Black Numenorean Marshal. He's only fight four. Oh, sorry, no, I'm in the Marshal. Fight five. Marshal. I mean, he fills the role of having a uh, armored captain with a sorry, an armored horse captain with a lance. But to do that, you make him eighty five points. Yeah, that's quite legit. Right. Yeah, that's not what you're looking for. It's the exact five, but... same price as the Mouth of Sauron for yeah. exactly the same stats, but one higher defense. And no magic. Yeah, Lance. yeah, I think that's and pretty Lance. trash. So it's going down here. So I don't think it's in nervous. I think it's he causes terror. It's identical to is it, that's that's what's cool. The mouth of sound is basically this guy, but with mm. added abilities. I like that spot personally. I think that's I think the shaman's probably better. I'm not mad with it being there. No points. I can totally agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So next up we have the generic ring wraith. I think that is. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, no, so I think it could potentially be eking into the lemon get, category. It's the value you get out of a budget wraith. 
my God, Riders of the AMA have struck. Indeed. Oh. <laughs> no, I, I, I could... Uh, who else is left? Your lemon. Yeah, your I'll lemon. Think... Let's I focus on this one. Let's focus on this one. No, he's not lemon. I, 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 I don't prefer... think it's lemon. I, 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 I can see lemon. Very... I think he's lemon worth but less good than the Shadow Lord. I guess yeah. being able to kit it out in different ways. It's more it's, versatile. It's way it's more versatile. March. Yeah. So not March. And having March is really good. And the casting isn't bad, so... But is that, like, how cheap do you take a budget, Wraith? Really? 281. 281. 281 on horse. And that's how it's many like, points? It's like 80 points, isn't it, I think? Yeah, 80. Which is, essentially, plus you get... 10. So it's 55 plus the horse is 65, plus three... So one fate, two might, and one no, will is 85. So yeah. you're spending 80 points to having 271 on horse. I think it's pretty good. Definitely good. Mm. Yeah, I like it. But where? Is it above Gorebag? Definitely no. above Gorebag. No. Because... Ooh, I'm not sure it is. Okay, wait, let, let's put it this way. When are you bringing the budget race? In triple caster. Yeah. Okay. Is that list more common than one with a cheap striker? No, but again, they why why would you need a cheap striker when you've got three transfixes? Like I am sort of thinking so like I'm thinking about taking the mouth to some upcoming events and like for the cheaper points you get the same casting value of the transfix on the three plus and you get compel on a four now and you've got more will for less points. And harboring them. Yeah. The trouble is the wraith <sighs> And it's still got March. So you're not losing. Much. Yeah, it doesn't go into combat and do you know what I mean? But yeah, it costs more. It's better in the triple transfix list than a mouth than mouth, I think. Yes. No, I, I mean, do you see can, it. It's you can is have it mouth better? In there, but it's at least there. No, it's a, I, I'd say it's above. Uh... I like Guritz, but I can see if others do not. What I love about the Mordor tier list is there's so many ways you can build your army. Yeah, that's the thing. Like <laughs> Which is better, army, better in door. in majority of them, but the wraith is way better in the ones that he fits in. So it's like the Guritz fits in everything. Does that yeah, make it better? Yeah, that's what I just said. So Guritz fits in more but, of them. Yeah, but the wraith fits in less of them, but does that role better it's than Guritz? Looking at the ceiling. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent agree with that. So it's, are we are we judging it by the ceiling or of the overall usability of the model? I don't really know. <laughs> like, does it make it better? For Ceiling. It in we a said, lot more uh, I think we've, uh, I think we've, um, yeah, the highest skill ceiling is where we want to be, I think. Okay. So I think he's above Guritz. Um, yeah, but if it's, I, if it's, if it's, if it's skill ceiling, I think the, the, be the great beast of Gorgoth goes up, but like that's, there's, there's like a limit, I think. I don't know. I think if we're doing it on skill ceiling, then the Shadow Lord might come down. And then, like, I think the undying, if you skill seeding, I guess it goes a little bit up. Like, I because I feel like, I feel like, Kamal is easy to get value out of him in majority of lists. I mean, you have to build around him a little bit more than you do the undying, but that's what I was saying. The, the oh, scene no, sorry. The un... no, you have to build around the undying more than you do, yes, than Kamal. Yeah, but um, Kamal is just. Again, more versatile. So that's why I put him above the Undying. So why wouldn't it be the same for Guritz and the because the race more way. versatile? I think it's fine. Yeah, being... more versatile. Yeah, so above Guritz because it is a lot more versatile. What about above Gorbag? Let's leave the Gorbanator top of Silly Nervous. I think this is a pretty good spot. We I've been terrorised by Gorbag too many times for him. I'll leave him there. He, Gorbag he, is pretty legit. He's warranted okay. his place there. Next up, he's the top guy. Witch King. Just put him on top of him and let's move on. Let's say him. the best Mordor hero. That's no, it. Probably the, probably the best hero, one of the best heroes in the game. The best one hero the best. in the game, potentially. Yeah. Mm. We could do a lemon of all lemon tiers, of all the tier, all the factions, the lemonist lemon, and he'd be in that. Category. So I give the sourest lemon. 
The s- <laughs> who's the sweetest lemon? Sour Ooh. lemon list. Yeah, <laughs> sour like lemon. Every every model that ends up at the very top of each tier list, we can just put into one tier list. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shaggers. Silly nervous. Lemon. No, silly nervous. I like Shagrat over Gorbag. No, Shagrat's definitely better. He's got to go up. Yeah, he, he's above Gorbag, but Coach 4 really lets him down. All right, I like him over the Shadow Lord. I agree. I don't. Ash? I agree. Is he above Cardouche? That's, I think that's... You that's that's an awful take from you guys. I was going to hands down say it. That's awful. That's awful. Um, Cardouche is what? half the points of Shagrat. Why is why is Shagrat there? He's an unbelievable hero. And yeah, you're telling me the Shadow Lord isn't? Yeah, the Shadow Lord is an unbelievable. But the Shadow hero. Lord has well, blinding light is really good. We're not disputing that, but. If you have a high model count army, you're mostly D6 everywhere. I think you can get away with not taking it, where Shagrat provides a very high amount of you know, damage potential, which is going to be consistent in every game. But uh, him being Courage 4 and him being transfixable beyond belief. Yeah, but if you have magic alongside it, mm. uh, and you've also got three will and might, yeah, but if you're taking Shagrat, you're going to take the Witch King, and you're unless you're at really, really high points, you're realistically not going to have another Wraith in there unless you're taking a budget Wraith. And um, I, I can agree with Sam; he is below the Shadow Lord. He's definitely a Lemon hmm. Mordor hero. So, Adam, I think above. What do you think? Below, I think he's above the Shadow Lord. We're yeah. at standstill. Okay, that's um, okay. I, I capitulate. He's above the Shadow Lord. Okay. I don't know what he, I don't know. I feel like you can just bring two heroes. You could bring a gore bag and a Zagdush and get and have the same with him. Yeah, you I can, but then you come up against D7. And then... I think I said something similar like that earlier about you could take two things and it'd be better with the Undying, I think. And we said that we couldn't do that. Mm. I think the do. main the main reason that I fell out of love with uh, Zagdush, we'll get to him in a minute, uh, is. Basically, when you play anything that's D7, you don't have any cracking power and it just you just bounce and bounce and bounce. It's it's definitely the same with Gorbag, uh, but less so because he's um fight five, whereas Zagdish is only fight four. Um, lots of but, heroes have that issue though. You know, most heroes are strength four, lots of them in the game. So and that's the that's this that is exactly the niche that Shagrat brings. Why is Shagrat? He's strength five, he knocks over, he goes into D7, death. And with threes he, everywhere, but if he if he didn't have much will, then mm. he'd be a lot lower. But he's threes across the board at D seven. Like he's three will at yeah three will three fate at D seven. He yeah. does the best role for the compel charge and murder because yeah. he yeah. charges knocks down. Doesn't matter what even like most heroes are D seven or your D eight. Shagrat doesn't care. Yeah, you're, you're getting murky, yeah. you're getting smashed. You yeah. only see him at like what, what you've only ever used him at above seven hundred fifty. Yes. So that's all you can slide him into. Yes, yeah, but like we just said about with the the wraith, it's a oh, oh, um why we put the wraith over Guritz. It's not about you know Guritz being better in lots of lists. It's about the skill, the system. maximum potential you yeah. have of Shagrat. With you got to yeah, yeah, remember yeah, the more... blood and glory. Blood and glory is such a good rule. Not about that. Such a good rule. I think you can get to get more out of the Shadow Lord casting for our game. The majority of games with Black Dark than <laughs> with Shagrat. I mean, I, 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 I do agree with that. The Shadow Lord special rule is so good and his casting and black, is very good. The the black darts on and the transfixes on enemy heroes, like why like the if if he was lemon, why wouldn't you see him at six hundred? Because other stuff's better than him, you can't you'd rather fit in. It is true. I like him as a Shadow Lord. I've seen more Shadow Lords than I have Shagrats. And like the only time you see Shagrat is when you take a Witch King, a Sullivan, and then, oh no, who's my third hero? Oh, it's going to be Shagrat because I've got enough points to do it. Otherwise, you don't take him because if you don't have the numbers, he doesn't make his points back. or He's, he's just not worth it. I just think you can get away with not taking Blinding Light and Shagrat over six games. Mm. I guess that's how I usually think about things over like a six game event. Um, I think you're... A lot of the Mordor lists can be defense six. 
Yeah, we did say that earlier. By the way, I for for the Guritz and Wraith thing, I actually said Guritz should be above the Wraith, FYI. Hmm. Because when I said, oh, Guritz is more versatile, like oh, I basically you were saying the Wraith was, sorry, because you no, no. So I've based I've based the Undying being less versatile than Kamal. So that's why Kamal is above him. Same with that's why I think Guritz is more versatile than the Wraith. So Guritz should be above the Wraith. I'm happy with Guritz above the Wraith. Because I like Guritz. If you guys, because then that, that fits my same philosophy of Shagra and. I don't think it really matters. It, it comes down to pre like preference. Like I once took a, a list which was so much fun. It was a catapult Shagra, two budget race on foot, two seven one, and Kardish. Mm -hmm. Just so much fun because when you're taking the severed heads and you got two, Harbingers there, with twelve inch radius. It's just bonkers. It's yeah. just such a laugh. All fortitude heroes, so it made Shagrat the leader. I think it's, it's good having I think it's good having the two budget casters next to each other and the two budget three might heroes that fill slightly different roles next to each other. Mm. Um so I think, I think we're happy with that. It's just this up here. To me, the lemon guys, the lemon have not very many counters. You don't really have counters to Cardish realistically. He does what he wants every game and he's always gonna get value out of him. Shadow Lord, same thing. You're always going to get value out of the Shadow You're Lord. not necessarily always going to get value out of him. That's kind of what I'm... Let's say you Why don't you? play against a shooting list. Well, now... You're, you're still... You're still you still get thing. value from it, but now the main thing about the Shadow Lord isn't of use in that game, so you could have taken something else that you'd get better value out of. But majority of people take shooting, whether that's even a... I'm not sure about that. There's lots of lists in the game don't heavily lean in shooting. And I think with mostly D6, yes, lots of lists might have some shooting, but not enough where you need blinding light to yeah, it's still a, it's what other Wraith is I'd still take the Witch Shadow Lord second to none over the Witch King any day of the week. Like he's still the second best Wraith. I'm not sure he is. With with blinding light. If that's useful, no, 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 even just the role he plays, I still think he's better. Even if this even is this one is this, I just think it's hard to say because it's all about the matchups. And... There's more counters to Shagrat than there are to the Shadow Lord. It's a good point. It's fair. Maybe moving down, then it's hard you to. You can't really, you can't really counter the Witch King. Witch King does what he wants. Cardish usually does what he wants, and it's the same with it. Same with Shadow Lord. You can't stop mm. the ball of darkness. We've always, well, stop me personally, I've always said that magic is the best thing in this game, and that is demonstrated there. So I will concede. I think you have swayed me, Samuel. I will yeah, I'll concede, and we'll move on to the drummers. Yeah. This guy yeah. is shit. Black Man guard City. one, first of all. Man City. Yeah. Is it? Unless you're... Because his drum only affects Mordor or Akai. So, yeah. I mean... I guess, as we're saying, you have to build lists. You would build this list with Shagrat, uh, two then, of the Urukai captains, and max out with guys. Then you take then, Yeah, exactly. And then you, uh, if we're saying you use this uh, Urukai drummer, you then also don't ever have any spear supports because you drum uh, the Urukai forward and no Urukai have spear supports. So then they just, yeah, it's rubbish. I think it's below the Gothmog's Enforcer, at least if you want to no, take No, 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 no. Gothmog's Enforcer is so, so bad. The model looks pathetic as well. Look at it. He's yeah, just standing yeah. there with his little sword. It looks like a, it looks like a B Tech Wildman from Dunland. I just think in yeah. the, oh, I'm not having that. Ash. The model's fine. No, the model. No. I actually he's, have stand, the model. he's standing exactly how he was when Gothmog was talking to him at one moment. <laughs> Tremendous. I just think a drummer for the Mordor Urukai, who you already do not take that much. The drummer is even more niche for that. But I guess yeah. the Enforcer is also niche for Gothmog, so I don't know. The Gothmog Enforcer is That's so bad. Fuck it. The Mordor Orc drummer. This is better. This it's could better. maybe be... A, I think this is probably above the Great Beast. I I was almost going to say bottom of Silly Nervous there. I could also... Yeah, I can also see that. I, I think it's at least there. It's 30 points and it's got a fate as well. I'd, I'd totally rather have this guy over a captain in this in in a, in, in a specific Mordor. list. If we're looking at the ceiling of in it, Mordor, then, I, yeah. I think it could be. Yeah, we're looking at the ceiling. I think it's silly nervous below yeah, Gothmog. Yeah, it's got a fate. I think it is. And as is Ali, it? as Ali said, it is an independent hero, so it can cool stand fast as well. Is it ceiling or because not ceiling? Sorry, 
uh, when you build your list around this model, it becomes very, 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 he, bec he becomes, we said that lemons are auto takes when you're building a list in that specific fashion, this guy is an auto take. The lines can be somewhat blurred between like, you know, whether it's the skill ceiling and that sort of thing. That's the problem. Cause like, I don't think Shagrat's an auto take. I don't think Lemon is only auto take. Like you don't auto take. Yeah. Hardish. But the Shadow Lord isn't an auto take either. Yeah. I think we revisit this conversation at the end. Where are we putting the orc drummer? Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. Happy there? Okay. Next up, we have uh, Zagdush. <laughs> Zagdush's dog. Ash hates. My I burner, cannot accept my him burner, being burner, right. It's going to no, come down. Is he dog. is not dog. Simply, uh, it's only because I've ever probably won used the him. Masters with Zagdush. Terrible. The fact that you can this. go from D5 to D4 to get Strength 5. You were saying earlier how good Strength 5 is. Strength 5 is very good. So, you know, with three It's like piercing well. striking, guaranteeing a one. It's a good point. And then you lose so because you only fight depends. four. And then you, you lose, you only fight four, and you die. Uh, I think this guy's better than Grishnak. That's the problem. Yeah, I do. I agree. He is better than Grishnak. I'm just... I just okay, don't like let's him move because on. I've had bad life experience that's been a great beast for 60 points three might striker strength five he's only fight four but the fight four is it's really bad really really bad on a hero I'd rather have stuff over him again yeah i think he's i think he's, he's fine even, even though he's fight four he can just go into two hours strike and just kill him yeah it's good value 60 points he does that three times and take out six hours then he's got his value back You're, you are right about that you are totally right about that uh, yeah, I think he's good there. We'll move on to the Taskmaster. Dog. Top of dog. Actually, didn't you use him at Imps? In I used though. him with Sauron, and it was absolutely one of the best fun I've ever had. His ability when it goes off is insane. Um, however, he's not the most competitive. You have to really build your list around him. Um, There's nothing in this list. What would you build your list around him with? So you take him in like an orc spam. So you take Gothmorg, you take orc captain, you take Zagdush, and then you take him, and then you just drum forward. Sorry, you'd also take the drum, drum forward, cool moves everywhere, and just be whipping boys left, right, and center. Oh, you're marching. Okay, whip, potentially get that back. Then you're gone 12 inches up the board. Then you move, move off our oh, whip. You just it just really helps you with your mind. I feel like with if you, if you take Gothmorg with Master Battle, you have enough might anyway. I'd rather take if you're a, take it. Yeah, if you're taking the cheap heroes as well. I'd how many take, points is the Taskmaster? Cheap so, hero. It's yeah, 50. Anyway. 50. So when I took him with my nine orc heroes, he was amazing. Yeah, that's the thing. He can be, he is really fun. Yeah, but in the fellowship of the orcs, it's different to... Yeah. It's, it's, it's so corner case. It's if, so... It, if it was like, potentially, if it was like any heroic, oh, shout out, any heroics. If it was, if he could whip any heroics, that would be incredibly lemon. I think it's going, it's going somewhere around here. Better than the Numenorean captain, definitely. Right there. And that's the <laughs> way I think it's happy. Now, if we're going to add in Razgush and Muzgur, where Ooh. would we go? Yeah, I think we maybe comment on that quickly. So, mm. Razgush, I think him being Hero Valor, being able to ally in bats, spiders, and then also the orcs kind of turn into super orcs potentially if you play elves. He's quite expensive though. Super orcs. And he's <laughs> he's only D seven one fate. So like, I reckon he's, he's better fun. than Guritz. Not Adam, as good as is, the Gorbanator. I, I I disagree with better than Guritz. Adam, that is a photo and a half, mate. Oh, the Fellowship of the Orc. I think that deserves a. I that. can totally I can totally put that on the screen for the viewers. That's got to be the. Um... I think that's got to be the what's it called the thumbnail. That's incredibly funny. Yeah, but I'm not going to see it though properly on that. Anyway. I'm making a note of that. It will be on the screen for the viewers. Uh, Razgush, where are we putting him? Where would we put him? I don't think above Guritz. I'd above Gothmog, I think. Yeah, I'll have what that's not a bad chance. He goes, There's a yeah. combo I really want to do, which is one of the fight six wraiths. So the Dark Marshal probably maybe come all and then Razgush with some bat swarms. Mm. I think it's really cheeky to rely in. It's above Gothmog, sure. Yeah, uh, but probably below the mouth, I think, right in here. And think... then we have the real the real meat and potatoes. The MVP. <laughs> we need another hour. 
Oh. This debate is gonna. This is a new pod. It's Next going pod, above the budget wraith. It's going below the mouth of Sauron. Musga <laughs> is above the mouth of Sauron. Musga is below the mouth of Sauron. So Adam is kind of the mediator. Hiding. Yeah. Well, you what's your opinion? On it? Mine. Yeah. I like Musga. I think he's better than the mouth. The the mouth is really really good. Movie. They feel very similar roles, uh, but I think the s- ceiling of Musga is higher than the mouth. The skill ceiling of Musga no. is way higher than the mouth. No. <laughs> I okay. I've got a weird view on this, but there's, facts. there's a reason why one of them, in my opinion, is higher than the other. Um, but they're really similar, and it's because one of them has a heroic action that about a third of the list does. And the other has a heroic action that only two of the models have, and one of those is at the bottom of Man City. And that is heroic defense. So I would put Musga above mouth for that reason. It's confirmed. I'm gonna I'm gonna hard disagree. Uh viewers, please comment down below your opinions on the mm. Musga versus Mouth of Sound debate. Please. Are you on team me or team everyone else? Team them. You, yeah. Uh, so, is it above the budget wraith? I vote yes. No. <laughs> no, he isn't. Sorry, is it seventy points for Musger? Yeah. yeah. So you can take a two eight one. They can take a two seven one wraith. Two on seven five. one wraith for the same points. Who's going to cast more? Let's be real. Musger is not killing four models. Another reason why the mouse just, is you, have him, you can get him in combat as well, though. Yeah, you guys totally underrate Musga. Good. It's com- combat and ability. That's strength four. You can hurt combat and get two well out of it. Musga is fight four, right? Yeah. Fight four, two attacks, strength four. Oh, he has two attacks, yeah. I've seen him get a lot of will back in a game. Or you can support. If he's, if he's in combat, he's then not casting because it goes down to a move roll off everyone and he gets tagged. It's yeah, just like... That's, that's the same, that's the the same buffs, with the mouth. Ring Wraith buffs are amazing, though. No. The, buffs. the mouth has terror and then... But we're looking at the Wraith now. When you say the buffs of the Wraith, yeah, that is a fair argument. But the budget Wraith, you're never going to probably have killing anything. I don't know. I think I think that's quite close. Yeah, okay. I, I, honestly, I don't It's, know. it's either just above the budget better. Wraith or just below. I'd put him below, but... It seems that. like other people want to put him below. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put him below the budget wraith. Okay, so that's where we'd put Musgur and Razgoosh. Now, is there anything else we want to move around in the list? I think uh, I think it's uh, full time. I'm happy with that. Yeah. What do we think? Happy. Sam, happy? Any gripes? Mm. Sure. Sure you have some gripes or no, you don't? No, I mean, there's, a, there's a few. That things was a that, terrible response, Sam. There's a few things that <laughs> I guess, but they're so minor that it's like, uh, yeah, it's fine. Give us one. Give us your top one. I would just put Shagga and Topper silly nervous. Like that's anything. Wrong. I would probably put the Great Beast in the top of nervous, but it's only one place, so leave it. Yeah, yeah. I agree with that actually. What above the orc? Cap- yeah, because you're getting March everywhere else. The only reason exactly. you're taking orc caps and then really is the cheap uh hero i think the thing that we said yeah was like if you need a really cheap march and 12 all band slots 40 points is incredibly cheap but the great beast is 11 models as well for 150 points yeah the great beast is quite good like okay i think we're also doing the 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 normal uh, i want to say we're doing the normal shaman a bit dirty as well but (laughs) yeah you were the biggest advocator of the um of the orc uh, Captain Ash, are you fine with it being bumped down a place? Yeah, uh, I agree. Um, the the march is better in different places, more prevalent in more places. For example, Guritz. I mean, you don't. I wouldn't say you take the captain specifically for march. Obviously, it's a very good benefit, but I I like the idea that he's a wag. hero wag uh, fight for ability to pierce to go to. Fight uh, strength five on a war with three attacks, charging in for fifty points. That's the role I think he plays. Is more of a cannon, a glass cannon at that. But hey ho. Yeah, yeah. We seem like pretty... my gripe against Zagdush, and that's exactly why I think the captain is better than him, is because a fifty point orc captain on a war is better than Zagdush for for ten points less. It is ten points less. 
You get on one. a walk, you've got the higher movement, you've got the charge bonus, you've got the knockdown, and you can still do strength five. Yeah. It's it's different use cases. Yeah. So I'm happy the captain's above. I, yeah, I've kind of changed my mind. I do think the shaman has been done a little bit dirty and is probably better than the Moran and captain. Oh, Adam's, yeah, true that. Let's leave it at that. We have Let's to leave, leave it. it there. We have I to think... leave it. It's symmetrical. Yeah, the, sy- the symmetry is pretty lemon. It does. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. It's pretty sicko mode that was the way the cookie crumbled uh so on that note that is going to close out the tier list uh thank you everyone for watching if you made it this deep into the episode uh we'll have to do mordor warrior profiles some point to follow this bet up. you guys all can't wait for that well <laughs> nervous Riveting. um but thank you everyone very much for watching episode nine of the golems gamers podcast